Okay, hello, my name is Christina Cavedo, and the artist that I chose was Marcel, Marcel Duchamp and his artwork, The Fountain. And the title of my paper is going to be Who is Considered, What is Considered Art? The Data Movement. And then my three resources, well, I actually have four, is going to be the Data Fragment in our Art and Theory book, as well as the Data Manifesto, as well as what is dadism? What is dadism, and what does it want in Germany? And I'm also going to be using the essential writing of Marcel Duchamp, and then his piece is really just the fountain. It's glazed in ceramics um, and porcelain. The original was in 1970. It was also replicated in 1964 because the original one had actually gotten lost. And he was part of the Dada movement, which was basically anti-rational, anti-art. It was a cultural movement. It was basically to like rise against and kind of go against everything that they originally had done. So instead of making art so beautiful and so perfect, they kind of wanted to rise above it and like keep going and make it more conceptual and more about what's really like hidden and beneath it and kind of just go against the basic norms. And... The main reason why I personally had chose him and his artwork, The Fountain, was because he had stated he wanted to be, he wanted to implicate something and make it into something else. So he wanted to really question art and really what could be art. Did it have to be created? Did it not have to be created? Like, really, where was art and what was it doing? So he really wanted to, like, go ahead and do that in the way how he implicated that was by doing his first ready-made and which was the fountain and just like to catch up and remind everybody what ready-made is it's originally a manufactured object designated by the artist as a work of art so it's basically getting something and then recreating it and re-manipulating it to making it your own so he really questioned by altering the definition of what is considered art and so he was really kind of like a little hidden and beneath, like a little rebel. So basically what he created consisted of a standard urinal. And it, he laid it flat instead of on its back rather than the upward position. And then he signed it R. Mutt. And then he also signed the Yarnet 1917, as well as the replicated one that he also had did. But instead of saying R. Mutt 1917, he created it and put our mutt, our mutt 1964. So I really enjoyed his work and his conceptual play. So I really wanted to question it and I really wanted to write about his thoughts, his conceptual ideas, the process rather than the final outcome. And that's what I wanted to bring into my paper because I really wanted to question just everything about art. And I feel like he did it in the best way and that is why I chose him. So thank you. Look forward to seeing my paper. <laughs>